Welcome back, horror fans. BH Pumpkin Claw here. Howard Lovecraft intrigued us with his demonic god from the deep Cthulhu. In the interest of what lives at the bottom of the ocean is always a source of intrigue. A good portion of my favorite horror movies involve the creatures from miles down, either rising up to reveal their presence or ignorant humans going into their realm to die in a watery grave. Here is Pumpkin Claw's top 10 underwater movie monsters. 10. Deep Rising. Starring Treat Williams and Famke Jansen, carnivorous tube worms from the bottom of the sea attack a cruise ship at the precise moment a crew of mercenaries rob the vessel of precious gems, which for some reason are being held in the ship's vaults. Fun movie. If going into it for seriousness, you will be overloaded with tongue-in-cheek action and poor CGI. But then again, it was the 90s, so what do you expect? Number 9. Leviathan. Considered the greatest alien ripoff ever made, a crew of deep sea miners comes across a sunken Soviet vessel. When exploring for salvage reasons, they discover what appears to be a bottle of vodka, and of course Daniel Stern decides that it would be a great idea to drink it. Little did they know that it holds a genetically mutant cells that transforms the crew one by one into crossbreeds of monstrous undersea creatures. Starring Peter Weller, who we all loved as Robocop, and Ernie Hudson, this is a definitive 80s creature feature, and despite the obvious references to other films, will without a doubt stand the test of time. Number 8. Rogue. A group of tourists on an Australian river are marooned on an island in the middle of an enormous crocodile den with rising tides. This is much better than it sounds, and has great effects. If you enjoy monster crocodile movies like I do, then this is a must-see. Starring Sam Worthington and Rada Mitchell, how could you go wrong? Number 7. Piranha A young couple comes across a pool and goes swimming in it, when viciously attacked by genetically altered piranha, created by a crazy scientist to help the Americans in Vietnam. The pool is drained, releasing the beast into the water system not too far downriver from a child's summer camp. This can't be 1970s movie banked on the popularity of summer blockbusters before it. And for movie trivia fans, James Cameron directed the sequel three years before he directed Terminator. Number 6, Jaws 3. I don't care what anyone says. I enjoyed this. And so far, this is the closest movie we have yet to receive with the Megalodon. In SeaWorld, an underwater welder and his girl dolphin training girlfriend discover a 40-foot shark and its baby in the amusement park. It has Dennis Quaid and Louis Gossett Jr. in a time when 3D films were all the rage. Even though the original didn't need sequels, I have a deep hope this story could get revamped in for a future film. Number 5. Alligator Okay, this movie has unfortunately been lost in obscurity. This is a great film which screams 80s with the epitome of 80s effects. A pet alligator flushed down the toilet, feeds on pharmaceutical companies' discarded experiments growing over 25 feet. It's the old urban legend which we have not seen in a long time. Maybe we should be treated to something like this on the big screen instead of a faceless man in a suit and tie. Just my opinion. Number 4. Deep Star 6 This is one of my absolute favorites and was brought to us by Sean Cunningham, the man that gave us Jason. A mixed team of underwater scientists and Navy officers are building a missile sled six miles down. They inadvertently open a cavern that is home to a gigantic arthropod that has an unexplicable f appetite for flesh. Starring the late Miguel Ferrer, Matt McCoy, and Greg Avigan, you know, the handsome guy from My Two Dads, it is a well-delivered creature feature. Number 3. The Shallows I love this movie. The spectacular portrayal of a woman put in a compromising position with the indomitable will to live. Blake Lively taps Sigourney Weaver from Aliens and Roy Scheider from Jaws with such perfection. Like Jaws, despite the ending may be implausible, the audience is so ecstatic for her survival that you will jump out of your seats when the finale arrives. Number 2. Orca one of the ocean's most deadly creatures received its first and as far as I know only version as the antagonistic beast seeking revenge. When his mate an unborn child is accidentally killed in a fishing vessel's propeller, this killer whale goes on a rampage seeking justice and destroying everyone Richard Harris loves. This is a wonderful turn as killer whales are well-respected animals, and despite their vicious nature propagandized in black fish, we are shown that when it comes to us versus the ocean's wolves, we don't stand a chance. And number one, Jaws. This is my absolute favorite. 
and as a child has kept me out of the water as well as millions of other moviegoers. Bruce the shark, who is named after Spielberg's lawyer, still haunts our dreams and without even seeing the shark over three quarters of the movie, still makes us afraid to go swimming in the deep. Nothing beats Jaws, and this is one of those movies I hope they never touch. It is one of the best and beyond reproach. What did you think of my list? If you haven't seen any, please seek them out. And for future content, like, share, and subscribe. Stay scared.